guys, Cake Nums here. Remy the Rat here, and today I'll be showing you how to do Bianchi's Quest. So for those of you that don't already know, Bianchi's Quest is the bag quest. So the first thing you have to do, let's go to Bianchi to get our quest. And she should be directly behind Spawn, right over here in this path next to Jam Jam Ju. And for her quest, she actually gives you heals. So here's her quest. Hi, sad crying. What's up? Tear, OMG, so sad. Why am I crying? Sobbing tears. Well, I'm so glad you asked. Maybe you could help? Oh yeah, I totally asked. Uh, why are you crying? Well, I was shopping around the city for some take-home gifts for my annual rooftop New Year's party at the apartments, cries. And they were supposed to get delivered to my apartment. Sad, sad tear rolls down face. But the traffic got heavy and my bags got lost all over town, sobs. It would mean the world to me if you could go and find them. On God, Bible. I'll let you keep one of the bags if you do. There's some really cool stuff in there. I believe there's around 35 that got lost. We have to find 35 of Yanchi's bags. Keep in mind that this is randomized and it's different for everybody, but I'm going to give you guys places that the bags appeared in. Starting with number one is on the lights or lampposts. So we are going to actually go and take a look around and see if there are any bags. And look, there's one bag over here on the lamppost. And they can also be spawning anywhere, like in the park area behind this fence. So they are usually around the lamppost because those are like the best places to check if you're looking for the bags for this quest. The next place would be on the 2021 sign or near that area. So we are going to come over here. Let's take a look around and see if there's any bags up here. If not, that's okay. But that is a place to check. Oh yeah, look, so there's one on the building. Let's go pick that one up. Another place is between the buildings. We have to go all the way back over here because here we have like alleyways where the bags could be hiding. And these are places that are most likely to be missed. I highly suggest you check these places because they do kind of blend in and you wouldn't really see it from the sides. So make sure you do check out the alleyways. So there we go, we already got two from the alleyways. And another place that you would like to check is in the grass area behind the fence. So if we take a look over here, there is a bag right behind the rock. There's one there, and you can also find somewhere over in this area too. It is randomized, so there's a chance that the bags could spawn over here in these fenced off tree areas. So it doesn't hurt to check in those areas. And that includes this place too. So if you were just spawning in here, then you can take a look at the sides of each place. See, we have a bag right here in the fence area. And then keep going. I didn't even see this one, so we got that one. Let's check the other side. Okay, so we're over here and I'm gonna see if there's any other ones. Yep, there's one here. Yeah, so that's it for the fence area. Another place is a snowman area. The place in the middle, basically. This is the park. There are a ton of bags hidden like near the snowman, and they're really not that hidden because they kind of glow. Also, another tip, you can click on this icon right over here, and then click lighting filters, click royal day, and the bags will actually glow, so it will make it easier for you to find them, and it's more visible that way. Also, check in the bushes because the bushes are, they have it really hidden and uh, around the snowman area, pretty much. Oh look, there's one here. So the next place I highly suggest you check is a train area, a train track. So if we come over here past Friendship Drive, we can see how there is a little uh, train area. A few bags hidden over here, or maybe just one, pick that up because the train areas are definitely a very good place to check. 
and make sure you check the other train area which is on the other side of the map and again Remy the Rat is a little bit slow sorry about that Okay, so now we reached the other train area. Hopefully there's one here. Yeah, there's one bag right there. And I think this filter really helps out a lot. I just found out about it when someone told me in the stream after I completed the quest, basically. So I didn't get to use this filter much to find my bags, but it is very helpful and I really recommend them. And again, here, there's some bags on the stoplights, the lampposts, and pretty much on the lampposts is like a very common place that they spawn. We can also check again behind the alleyways to see if we missed any. Oh look, there's one over here next to doors on the luxury apartments area and another secret one hidden in the alleyway. that up and look around in the corners of the buildings because I think those are really secretive spots so usually the bags if they're on their sides you can only see like the black part of it and it's not that noticeable because it's not like glowing but if you turn it around change your camera angle a bit you can definitely see how they're more visible yeah look at it from all angles so you can spot it Another tip to keep in mind is that there are no bags in the sewer. So don't even bother checking the sewers because they're all above land. It's not like the shell quest where you have to find some in the sewer. The last place that I would check is behind the curtains or on the stage or somewhere near this area. There's a bag right over here. The one I missed earlier. So there we go. We got that bag behind the curtain. And I think they hide out a lot in bushes. So just ram yourself into the bushes and see if you collect one. So now we've already gotten 28 out of 35. I think the rest, we just need to keep checking those same areas, uh, like the spots I've mentioned previously, such as the lampposts. Look, there's one right there. It does have a chance of spawning in the ticket booth right over here so you just go in there and collect it um that's one place that i would check even though mine didn't spawn in the ticket booth i want to get all possibilities so that you guys have like more areas to look you guys can also follow along too when you are finding your bag so that you can check the same spots that i got my bags at let's collect that one. Oh, look there's one over there Okay, I totally missed that one. And when you get down to like your last few bags, it gets really frustrating because you just have a few more left. And honestly, you don't see any bags in sight. Like it wasn't as easy as before. So I definitely understand your pain. Of course, like any other quest, you can always continue this another time because the progress won't be reset if you leave the game. Uh, it'll just pick up on where you left off. So look, here's another place I missed. All right, another lamppost bag. One place I didn't check yet was probably like on top of these pillars. So another thing I noticed about the filter is that these bags, while they glow really brightly, they can also blend even more in with the lights. So I'm gonna turn off Royal Day filter and then I can see the bags. Oh, <gasps> no way, there's a big bag right over here. I didn't even notice this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that one up. I didn't even see that one. That was crazy. Like, it was hiding over there. Okay. And then I'm gonna check around. Oh, there's a bag right over here. See, I totally missed it. 
Nice work. Take these to Bianchi for a reward. I just got all the bags. This is another tip. Check on top of these lights. They really blend in, especially because the ladder areas are black and also the sides of the bags are also black. So they camouflage and they kind of act as lights. So now that we have collected all 35 of the bags, we're going back to Bianchi. The first time I did this, it took like a really long time. And for those of you that watched my last stream, you guys know how long that took. So we can now give her bags back and she will give you a specially custom made heels for your good deeds. And you unlock the Midnight Strike Popstar platform heels. Let's put it on and see what it looks like. Another cool feature about them is that you can toggle the stars. So if you don't want the stars, then you can take those off and of course put them back on again. So here are some really cool boots that you can earn from doing that quest. And just blindly finding all the bags is pretty difficult and can take up to a few hours. But if you keep in mind the spots that I've mentioned previously, then it will definitely help out a lot more. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Subscribe because it definitely really helps me out and turn on notifications if you guys don't want to miss out on future Royal High updates or any more tutorials. Guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!